G.I. Joe fans, Joe Motion Videos 82 here. It is time for another G.I. Joe toy review. And today we're going to be looking at um, an action figure that I've been wanting to re review for a while now. And uh, I was waiting for the popularity and the madness of this to die down because there were so many people reviewing these new figures. And I figured it's time. Uh, we are going to be looking at the 2021, I think it is, Snake Eyes Red Ninja. Yes, the Red Ninja from the Snake Eyes movie. Um, I don't recall seeing the Red Ninja in the movie. I only watched it once, of course, but um, I want to watch it again with um, a little more open mind. Uh, that was a problem with the movie. A lot of people were expecting it to be more like the cartoon or like the comics but you know this was the director and the writer's idea of snake eyes and i like when they do that kind of stuff i'm, I'm not reviewing the movie i'm just, i'm giving my opinion on this i like when the directors do it like the the G.I. Joe movies, you know, Retaliation and the first movie that came out, you know, people thought well, all these things suck, but really you got to think that it's their interpretation of, of the movie. It's the writer, the director, and there, I'm sure there is a lot of work going into it, countless man hours of script writing and editing and conversations over drinks and lunch, uh, working working long hours to give what they think that the viewers would appreciate. And for that fact, I am very grateful. Um, the the hours that go behind it, I'm sure, is just are astronomical. So that's the the mindset that I'm going to be looking at it as, and. The movie, when I, I saw it the first time, I thought, you know what, this is pretty interesting. Snake Eyes, you know, started off as kind of a an underworld type character. And, um, but he had a conscience. Snake Eyes is a good guy. He's honorable. And I like the interpretation from the movie where it shows that Snake Eyes was a, a street urchin. And Storm Shadow, when they were kids, Storm Shadow busted him for breaking into a restaurant and stealing food. And, um, you know, they fought. And, of course, Snake Eyes knew a little martial arts, and he and Storm Shadow grew up together. So, I know there are diehard fans out there that are, you know, has to be like the comic, has to be like the cartoon. And that is, that's fine. You know, I, I completely agree with you guys on that aspect, too, that... It would be really cool to see a movie taken from the comics. I mean, Marvel is already, and DC have already joined with Hollywood and have made movies of their superheroes. So why can't they not join with Marvel and do a Marvel-related G.I. Joe movie? specific to the to the the comics and i think that would be really neat uh, i love the, the origin of snake eyes he stalkers and, and storm shadow were buddies in vietnam and snake eyes was severely wounded in a helicopter crash and uh, damaged his throat so he couldn't speak but i also like the vow of silence that he took in the movie after the hard master was killed that shows dedication, love, and admiration. So we're not talking about Snake Eyes. We are talking about the Red Ninja from this movie. And yeah, this guy is really cool. So Rob, my side of the laundry room, I know this is your one of your favorites. This is one you were dying to get your hands on and you finally did. So Rob, I'm gonna dedicate this one to you, my friend. It is a cool figure. And he comes with a lot of accessories. And when I first saw this, like, oh, man, 
another one with a bunch of accessories and they're going to be where are you going to put them what are you going to play with them how are you going to display them and I was pleasantly surprised if you don't have the Red Ninja I hope you will be as surprised as I was and if you do have him you know what I'm talking about if you opened him up pardon me I am a little thirsty Um, just real quick, every year out here in Arizona, we get people visiting from other states. And these are people are avid hikers. Every year, people are taken off of our mountain trails by helicopter, by EMS, because they underestimate the weather. They start off early in the morning when it's cool. You know, it's in the 90s, maybe low hundreds. Yes, it does stay into the low hundreds way into the morning. And as they are hiking up these trails, it starts getting hotter and hotter and hotter and they get heat exhaustion. They don't bring enough water. They're not acclimated and they end up collapsing, getting sick and having to be airlifted off these mountains. So, for the folks who want to visit Arizona and hike our beautiful mountain trails, this is your best friend. And I would suggest that you do it in the spring or the winter time. I know people are out of work or on vacation in the summer. Our summers are brutal, guys. They seem beautiful right early in the morning, but we get up to 118 sometimes into the 120s in some parts of the country or some parts of the state my first year out here i did not believe my dad when he said wear a hat drink water blah 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 I, it was dad talking right i was nine years old almost 10 i think i got heat stroke as i spent the whole day outside with my friends playing in the desert and uh, I had a very high fever. Thank goodness my dad is, was a medic. Um, my parents didn't have health insurance at the time, so they couldn't take me to the hospital. He treated me for heat exhaustion himself. That meant a cool alcohol bath and chilling me naked in front of a fan to break my fever. Uh, my dad saved my life. And um, in turn, I, excuse me, I saved his uh, after his stroke. Gosh, I thought it was over all that. <laughs> but yeah, he, I, I bought him another year of, another year. So, um, Guys, just stay hydrated. Any state you're in, I mean, with the humidity and everything, it's in other states. You guys know what to do. You know, just please. It, it's terrible. I'm, I'm sorry. Let me pause this. Yeah. So he's been gone five years now. Um, my dad was a. For those of you who don't know, he was a Green Beret medic. Um, he was in Vietnam. At the start of Vietnam, when uh, we technically weren't supposed to be there, he was an advisor uh, tra training the South Vietnamese Army, and um, allegedly wasn't we weren't supposed to be in combat, and he was. You know, we all know the story now, but back then that was real hush hush. But uh, he he was a hero, not only to me but to a lot of men that he saved. So anyway, this. Uh, let's get into the fun part. Let's get into this this ninja. He is really awesome. Uh, over here, over my my right shoulder, you can see uh, Scarlet and uh, the Night Creeper. So I have all of the Snake Eyes movies figures, and these aren't hard to get. And the prices, well, let's we'll talk about that in Byron's gripes. So when these first hit the market, people were just scrambling to get them and they were selling them for four or five times the market price. They were hard to get. You pre-order them in Target and your order would get canceled for some unknown reason. 
So I would end up finding these in the stores, and that's how I got mine. I found them in the store, and I bought them. So Target, I know you guys are getting your stuff together, but come on, um, canceling people's pre-orders is... I don't know why you do it, but you do it. And um, frankly, I don't pre-order from you guys anymore. I hardly shop in your stores. So let's take a look at this. All right, so here he is. I have one carded and one loose. This is what he looks like in the card. You can see snake eyes, pardon the glare. I have my studio light on. Um, it says Ninja Strike, Red Ninja. It's a very cool picture right here. When you open these, these card inserts come out. So I wouldn't be surprised if somebody 10 years from now would be selling these. So giving you guys an idea. And just look at that imposing picture of him. That is pretty cool. No file card on these. I wish they had it. Um, of course, several different languages written here on the back because these go international. It says Hasbro. Uh, I picked this guy up at Walmart of all places. So uh, there were two on the shelves and I bought both of them. Normally I hold one back, you know, let somebody else get them, but I wanted to army build at least two of them. So looking at this figure, he is pretty cool. Sorry, a little dust on his head. I forgot to get to that. I Pardon me for that. Uh, this is a very well-made figure has that um, rotating waist action uh, one side it's it's that uh, what I call the masters of the universe punch feature uh, you turn it the other direction it doesn't do that but I always love that masters of the universe punch action I got to get his torso straightened out uh, he has this loose armor I'm sure it will come off if you give it uh, some effort uh, nice shoulder armor uh, looks like he has some sort of a weapon here some handheld weapon not sure what that is uh, Chris Bredis if you are watching you are the martial arts expert for the channel please let me know what that is uh, here on the back he has a slot for a backpack so um, you could use some of those custom backpacks out there or you could use Scarlet's crossbow. It also uh, fits on her back. He has this protective loincloth. I'm sure this would have been made from uh, bamboo, which is actually very sturdy. There's a reason why Samurai used that. Um, it was very functional. Uh, here on his belt, you can see he has pouches. Uh, this very, it's an ornate belt. Uh, pretty nice. Uh, he does have elbow pads and shoulder armor. Up here on his forehead, this is actually a helmet. Believe it or not, this is a steel plate that goes around his head. Um, you would see these in um, anime cartoons where somebody's wearing that little plate on their head and I had no idea what it was I thought it was kind of weird but I, I asked a guy in a uh, sword shop because he was wearing one he said it's actually a helmet it blocks immediate strikes to the forehead uh, he is masked of course and you can see his eyes um, I wish there was a little bit of torso action there because you can see there is more armor underneath and it looked like they could have added the ab crunch feature but um, sure it would have been a little difficult his arms do move out to the side uh, and to the front he has a double jointed elbow his wrists are fixed but he has a swivel arm battle grip uh, here on his hands he has more armor down on his legs, more armor. The back side of the loincloth is not painted, which is kind of a disappointment. Uh, knee pads, shin guards, of course. He has the split toe um, shoes. This allows for him to grip ropes a little bit easier, a knotted rope. If you could slip your toe in between, that gives you a little added um, 
grip while climbing a knotted rope. Armor all the way around. His knees are double jointed. Uh, this guy is just cool. I mean, it's a ninja. How could you go wrong? I mean, G.I. Joe was ninja crazy. Snake Guy started off as a commando in 82 and 85. He was a ninja. All right, now here comes the piece de resistance, his weapon. This is a pole weapon. Um, you can see it has the, the double grip. Uh, has knobs here. I'm sure that would hurt like a mother if you got hit with it. But look at that. Boom. He has a sigh. This came bented in the card. Um, kind of unfortunate, but you can see that it has a hole on the bottom where, boom, accessory storage. But that's not all, guys. Here we go. Another sigh. Same thing fits right on top of the staff. Boom. And here we go. Here, here's the last of it. He comes with two comma. Yes, commas. Uh, same thing as in our punctuation. This is designed for the blade to fold down. This was actually a farming tool at one time. You could grip grain and cut it, kind of like a hand sickle. But yeah, it was a farming implement, and now it is a ninja weapon. And those just happen to plug into or, or clip on to his staff. So now it makes the staff a slicing, stabbing, offensive, and defensive weapon. And it poses very nicely in his hand. Uh, pose it just to slip it in his hand just a little bit higher. Um, that will make him off balance. So what I have done when I display him, unfortunately, I have the staff down a little bit lower so he could stand with it, but that makes that comma a little more bent. I could rotate his wrist out a little bit more. That puts him off balance, so the comma has to touch the ground. But just look at that pose. You could see him standing outside of a temple, outside of a dojo, Standing guard. I don't know if I could get him to stand correctly. There we go. He does have peg holes on the bottom of his feet. So there are custom figure stands out there. Speaking of which, I'm, I'm not... I'll just briefly talk about the Cobra Trooper. No, I won't. We know about the Cobra Trooper. He's awesome. These figure stands right here are made by painted plastic and i will tell you what these things are sturdy he did an excellent job with them the pegs fit perfectly with your classified joes um, the peg holes are a little bit too small for the feet of um, the snake eyes movie but these work perfectly for your classified Joes. That's what he made them for. Uh, so, painted plastic. Thank you so much, my friend, for uh, making those and uh, making a donation to the channel with those stands. That is beyond kind of you. Uh, I can't thank you enough for that. Now I really have no room. <laughs> I keep on saying I have no room. You can make more room, but um, I can finally display um, my uh, classified figures without them falling. But beautiful, beautiful red ninja. You guys, if you don't have him, pick him up. How For how much? Well, we'll get to that in Byron's gripes. <sighs> Parched. It's 3 a.m. and our monsoons have finally brought us more rain. And I, I, I thank heaven literally for, for that. Um, 
We are in a water crisis here in Arizona. Um, let's look at pictures of Lake Mead. You will see how the water line has dropped down and that powers a hydroelectric plant. Um, and uh, I'm not going to give, not talk more about that, but just put two and two together. So anyway, welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you guys very much for su subscribing to my channel. That makes me feel great when I see more subscribers coming out. Um, it, it honestly does make me feel good. It lets me know that my content is worthy enough for your subscriptions. Thank you for that, and thank you for just stopping by and visiting me in the Toy Dungeon. Um, I, I try to keep these reviews very personal. Uh, That's why I talk a lot. I'm normally an introverted guy, but I want you guys to feel welcome. Feel like you're in my home, sitting down to some old friends talking about G.I. Joe. So when... Um, this. Brief announcement, when I reach 600, I will be giving away a G.I. Joe classified Ram cycle and breaker. Yes, I will be doing that. So you guys, I can't thank you enough. That's how I could thank you. So I do Byron's gripes as a form of entertainment and education. Uh, I don't do it to pick on anybody I pick on the prices. I use eBay just for a reference. That's it. Just a reference. I want to get that out there. I don't want to pick on eBay. I'm not picking on eBay. I'm not picking on the sellers. I use eBay. I purchase from them. I sell on eBay. Uh, there are so many sites out there that sell G.I. Joe, sell anything you want. It's a world market. It's a world swap meet. That is so cool, man. It, it makes things, it, it, it's bittersweet. Before, when you would have to shop in your own state or you know, and you're traveling and you stop at flea markets to find rare things, it has kind of messed with the prices a bit. Uh, things that were hard to get and you would pay a lot for them, you can't, you know, the price has dropped a little bit on those, but it also makes it more available for people to purchase. So it, it's opened the market up and that is, that it's beautiful. It, it really is. It's such a miracle of technology. Uh, you know, I, I've purchased things from people in India, from uh England from Ireland, you know, I got got um, my Action Force snowmobile from a gentleman in um, Ireland. Um, I bought a Action Force SAS pilot from a guy in Belgium, uh, and of course, I get a lot of stuff from folks here in the United States, from Canada, from Japan, from China. It is it's cool, the miracle of technology, man. It is. And it gives us Joes. It gives us monsters. It gives us anything we want. And, you know, I, I just must must share this. I buy these cool little pictures I'm going to um, use, display for Halloween. These are very inexpensive. Uh, it's made by an artist. Her name is um, Margarita... Uh, I, I, it's hard to pronounce her last name. It's Y E R M O L Y E V A. These are prints that she does. You know, you can get anything. Um, I'm I'm buying um, Sleepy Hollow stamps. I'm sorry, I'm going off on a tangent, but this is so cool. Um, look at those. These are 10 cent stamps, they're Sleepy Hollow stamps, and these are still in the, the original um, mailer from the United States Post Office. So it, it's so cool. I love, I just, I just love the world market. So anyway, sorry to go off on that. I just had to get that out. Um, 
So if you're looking for this guy on the aftermarket, yeah, you can still find him in the stores. And he, he runs about $9.99 in the store, believe it or not. Uh, so carded. We're looking at $8 deal of the day. That's cheaper than the store, but you're paying a little bit of shipping. So, you know, it'll be like paying sales tax. Not a problem. $8 deal of the day, $9.95. These are carded figures, $14.99. Uh, and the prices keep going up on these um, as I was scrolling down through eBay. The most expensive one, this... Ow, getting the brain pain. What movie was that from? Anyway, $32.99. This is not a rare toy. It's not. I know you got to make money. Um, and people do make money off of eBay. They make a living off of it. Um, I shop at thrift shops, and there are people that just wait there all day for stuff to come out of the back so they could grab it off the carts and sell it at flea markets and sell it on eBay. They make a living off of it and they make a good living and that's that's fantastic. But $32.99 for this or better offer? Uh, no. Uh, I wonder how much the sky's gonna go down in price if you try to negotiate. You have five bid, you have five chances to bid. So loose and complete, $4.99, deal of the day. No problem buying a loose action figure. Why not? Uh, and that was free shipping on that. Um, all the way up to $8.99, loose and complete. I'm not seeing any of the weapons or anything like that being sold separately just yet. But I'm sure it will as the years progress. So thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Thank you for putting up with my talking. I know some of you guys just fast forward through it. And that's cool. I have no problem with that. I just want you guys to feel it like you're in my home. Sitting here talking with me. Uh, so I do appreciate you guys very much. You are awesome. I have the best, re best viewers out there. You guys are great. There have been so many generous people who made uh, donations. Thank you, Vinny, for that word, or donations to this channel. And uh, that they become channel supporters. So when I do hold giveaways, I hold one just for the channel supporters, and I hold one just for the subscribers. So when I, I do uh, the double giveaways, that's how I do it. If you want to be a channel supporter, uh, you could do anything you could do artwork for me that I could display that I could post um, in my introduction um, you could uh, send send something to the channel but none of this is necessary but that's how you become a channel supporter uh, a collaboration as well you could do a collaboration with me and that's a channel supporter and we support each other through collaboration so Mark Hoke and I or Cobra Island check him out he's a pretty decent guy he's he's a very warm-hearted warm-hearted man he does reviews joe's transformers and don't forget about cobra convergence you get to see so many so so many great creators out there uh you know 31 days in this month that's 31 days plus of reviewers because um hcc 788 brian he'll, he'll do little clips of um, spotlights of reviewers so don't head over to his channel hcc788.com or his website I should say to find out the schedule for um, upcoming reviews and past reviews so I, I did one of uh, the venomization chamber you can find that here on my channel obviously why did I say that but anyway you guys you take care Honestly, take care of yourselves. I want to see you around for many years to come. Uh, stay safe out there. Uh, you know, uh, states that are prone to tornadoes and flooding, you guys stay prepared, please. Um, keep food and water rations in your house. This, you know, if your your public water systems get polluted, you could go several weeks without food. Three days without water, your body will start t 
taking it out of your cells and your kidneys will shut down. It's not a way to go. So, muy importante, agua uh, is number one. But um, you guys take care of yourselves out there. Stay safe. Remember, be kind to everybody. You never know what kind of day somebody's having. A little bit of charity goes a very, very long way. Um, just a quick story. I remember um, I was really, really depressed. It was shortly after my divorce. I was just walking down the sidewalk wondering what I was going to do with my life. And this woman just looked at me. This, old, this little lady looked at me and smiled said, Good morning. And that boosted my spirits. So that's why I say that. Just be kind to everybody. Uh, be kind to animals. They know nothing but unconditional love. I mean, animals are wonderful. Wild animals. I, I just love life. I love nature. I love animals. Um, yeah. That's it, you guys. Tune in next week for another G.I. Joe toy review. Vampire will hopefully be making a appearance this week for his quote-unquote monster monday on any day that he feels like making one um <laughs> he and i both work nights obviously he's a vampire so he does work nights so um making videos a little bit harder that's why i'm doing this one at 3 a.m because this is three in the afternoon for me you guys anyway bye take care we'll see you later this is joe motion videos 82 saying love peace and chicken grease Bye bye